<clears throat> okay, hey guys. No. Hey guys, Cassie Joy here. Welcome back to another episode of Joy Friend Friday, where I'm gonna be answering more of your questions that you asked on my social media channels. So if you aren't following me yet, make sure that you're following me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Cassie Joy Music, and also subscribe to my website, CassieJoy.com. Now let's get started. All right, our first question comes from Instagram. I often hear Keith Urban is an excellent guitar player. Blake Shelton says he knows the basics. So what makes a good guitar player? Where do you rate yourself? In my book, you're awesome. Thank you so much. You know, I've been a singer first, so singing has always been my first love and performing in general. I always wanted to play the guitar, but I never wanted to learn. And learning guitar is very difficult in my opinion. Um, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of muscle memory and a lot of wanting to, um, now what am I talking about? I ask this every week. Guitar playing hurts and you have to get calluses on the tips of your fingers and you only get that by building up your fingertips from playing for so long. So it hurts. So as like a child, it was really hard to get myself to practice enough to get calluses. So I always quit guitar. I would I would sign up and do like one lesson and then I'd be like, my fingers hurt, and then I would quit. <laughs> In my opinion, I think I am pretty average. I can hold my own on the guitar and I'm very grateful for the progress that I've made because I'm able to tour the country by myself with just me and a guitar and I love the independence and the creative control that that gives me of just being able to play by myself and not have to uh, rely on anybody else or schedules or trying to get you know a bunch of people to practice and and all of that that comes with playing with a group. Cassie Joy is a rhythm guitar player. <coughs> oh my god. So I'm joking so much my voice is like gone because <coughs> because we did the photo shoot tonight for my next single coming out and I was twirling around in this beautiful skirt and I looked down and I thought that the yellow beautiful flowers were moving and it wasn't the wind. I looked down and I kid you not, I have never screamed this loud in my life. It was like I was auditioning for Saw episode 70. It was the biggest yellow and black like yeah, like the word oh my it was like a giant bumblebee meets a beetle meets it was just so scary. But this thing was like crawling under my skirt and so I'm flailing my skirt around like insane screaming to Brian who's not even helping me because he doesn't even know what's going on at this point because all I was doing was just blood curdling screaming curdling hurtling. Guys my life flashed before my eyes and now I have no voice, but it's okay. I only have a show tomorrow and the next day. So I'm going to Iowa. I'll be in Osceola, Iowa at the Eagles at 6.30 on Friday night, so tonight. Saturday, I'll be playing at Three Oaks Winery in Albert Lee, so come and check that out. There's only 100 tickets left of that, so it's almost sold out. I'm so excited. Okay, wow, only 30 minutes have gone by and I've answered one question. From Instagram, Charlie Hahn. I'll try this one more time. I'm so sorry if I miss your guys' questions. I get so overwhelmed. So it's hard for me to keep up with all of the comments and to keep everything organized because I'm getting questions from all different social media sites. So if I miss your question, I'm so sorry. But yes, remind me because I'm very flighty. Okay, what song do you wish you would have sang on The Voice? I think about that a lot, actually. I really would have loved to sing a slow song because I never really got to show, you know, an emotional song side or a controlled side and I really wanted to wear like a pretty dress but I also really wanted to do the yodel song that I do uh, she taught me to yodel and if you haven't heard that yet you can get it right here on Spotify but you can't actually get it right here because this isn't a real button you gotta go to Spotify and search for Cassie Joy yodel that it, it should just come up uh, or you can go to YouTube and see me perform it or it's on iTunes and it's on my website 
CassieJoy.com where it's on my CD full of classic country covers. You can get it right there. So I wish I could have yodeled or done a slow song, but my number one song that was on my list when I actually got assigned Parachute by Chris Stapleton, uh, my number one song on my dream list was Rodeo by Garth Brooks. I would have loved to do like a Carrie Underwood vamped up, like sassy, angry female version of Rodeo. Okay, from Mare, I feel like I remember meeting you and that you had a different color of hair. Like you had a cool color in your hair, like teal or something. Hi, do you have any advice for someone young who sort of wants to do music? I answered a question similar to this recently and I think that filming yourself is a really good tool because you can watch yourself back and see what's working and what doesn't working if you look like a total doof when you do this or if you notice, like I noticed that uh, that I used to say and um like every other word and um but you can see what's working and what's not and it also helps to feel like you're in front of a crowd but not really be in front of a crowd so I would really suggest filming yourself and also just get out there go do karaoke with your friends and go make YouTube videos with your friends find a karaoke contest or learn how to play the ukulele and start learning songs so there's always like really good beginner steps and there's so much information on YouTube that you should check out uh, just for beginner steps. The first step is to have passion in what you're doing and to believe in yourself and believe in what you're doing because no dream is too crazy. I am literally chasing a dream of being a rock star and I have been for my entire life and it's led me to some incredible places and I've met so many beautiful people and made so many really special memories. So go after your dreams, whatever they are. Okay, Casey Hook from Instagram wants to know, do you like Michael Jackson? Is is this even a real question? Of course I like Michael Jackson. He is the absolute king. He was such a talented songwriter and singer and dancer. His dancing was just like absolutely out of this world. I just lost all of this. Okay, Brian Pierce, a top fan on Facebook. And once again, to become a top fan, you have to be super active on my page. And Facebook decides the top fans. It's not me, so don't come after me if you get demoted. You gotta share stuff and comment on it and like all of my stuff. And instead of just hitting a thumbs up, it's even better if you love something or you ha ha it or wow. Um, please don't dislike things, but I guess don't be a liar either. Okay, Brian Pierce wants to know, it's my understanding that Brian works as part of your team. What was his occupation prior to being a key member of your team? Um, Brian used to work with AT&T when I first re-met him after high school and he was in sales and if you guys have met him you would probably guess that he was in sales because he's very charming, very charismatic and super likable. He's like the nicest, kindest most cuddly fluffy teddy bear ever. So he's just the greatest guy. Um, so he worked for AT&T in sales and then he worked for a digital ad agency called 40 Digits under um, Barkley and he loved it there but we were living separately. We still had a home in Smithville, Missouri where we're originally from and I was living in Nashville for about a year and we got really tired of living 600 miles apart. It was really really sucky so he finally came to Nashville to be with me and no sooner did uh, he leave his big boy job and come chase my dream in Nashville with me uh, I got the call to be on the voice so right when Brian got to Nashville I went to LA and um, but he is just the best guy and he stuck with me through everything and Anytime that I would get discouraged and be like, I want to come home, I don't know if I can do this, he would say, no, you're staying as much as I miss you, you're not coming home, you need to be in Nashville, and he's always been my biggest cheerleader, so I am so lucky to have him in my life, and if you guys want to get to know Brian more, you can follow him on Instagram, at Brian Lankford. All right, another top fan on Facebook, George Wyatt Jr., do you ride? Um, I do have a scooter that I'm very proud of. But no, I do not actually ever drive the Harley. Uh, we do have a soft tail deluxe that I mentioned last week. We love it. Uh, we don't get to ride as much as we would like to because we travel so much for music. Um, but no, I would never drive a Harley because I'm way too spastic. I barely drive a four-wheeled vehicle. Um, I just can't be trusted. It just, mm, Brian drives everywhere. 
I'm the navigator, I choose the music, I'm a great DJ, just don't put me behind the wheel. I'm like the person that sometimes thinks that you can turn left on a red light. Okay, another top fan, Bogle J A. Hey Cassie, hope the concert in Osceola is great, I know it will be, and wish I could be there. As someone who has been wanting to learn to play guitar for many years now and wants to self-learn, do you have any tips or recommendations? Uh, my first tip would be to go to YouTube. There are so many awesome beginner lessons and there's people that do like whole channels with full lessons. And Brian has actually been learning to play guitar. Uh, when we've been in Nashville, he has been playing almost nonstop while I'm working on the Christmas album and doing these videos and stuff. Brian will sit down in the living room and, and play guitar and he's been wanting to be self-taught. He doesn't want my help. He'll ask occasionally. But he's been on YouTube mostly and just looking up beginner lessons. So I would definitely say go do that. You just, the main thing is building up calluses, just working through the pain and building up that muscle memory. All right, another top fan on Facebook, Charlotte Rains, wants to know what is or was your second choice for a career? Well, I have my degree in education, so if I wasn't um, a singer, I would probably be a kindergarten or first grade teacher or something with animals. Yeah, I guess that hasn't really changed. I get asked this question quite a bit. I also really, really love to do nails. I actually just did my nails. Um, so I love to do nails. I love to do to do tips on people and the whole gel thing. Um, so I really like to do that. I love to do makeup. I love to do hair. So I don't know. I guess I just really um, love to be creative in any way that I can or something with kids or dogs. All right, Charles Barhight, another top fan, wants to know what attracted you to country music. Probably my beginning influences of what I was mainly listening to when I was younger was what started me with country music, but I listened to everything. I knew all the words to Dr. Dre's 2001 CD, and I also knew all the words to the Dixie Chicks. But I think country music just really fit with my voice, and I really connected with the storytelling aspect of it, and I loved the lyrics and how I could always play my Barbies to them because it would be like a whole movie where I could talk them and I would get like whole movie sets going in my room, which I'm in my room right now. I'm in my childhood bedroom. Uh, this is actually like legit my bed and that was my closet. <laughs> But I would get these scenes going and listen to old country music because I had to learn the words for the Opry shows that I was in when I was like 10 years old. And so I'd be playing with my Barbie, are 10 year olds still allowed to play with Barbies or did I just call myself out? Like, so I'd be playing with my Barbies to like Loretta Lynn and Patsy Cline and they would have these storylines and I would get to like have this whole like thing happening with my Barbies. So maybe that's what really got me into country music. It really got my attention, especially with the lyrics and the storytelling. And I think country music just really fits my voice. My voice has just always naturally come out sounding country. I did rock music for about four years and I still love singing rock. Um, I just love to mix it up a lot anytime that I can, but country is where uh, my heart is ultimately staying at, I think. All right, Glenn Luckett. Are you ready for winter? It's snowing in North Dakota. That's terrible, I'm so sorry to hear that. It is 55, it was really cold today. Um, but I'm actually, I'm ready for fall. I'm not ready for winter. I'm ready for hoodies and leggings and boots and bonfires and, but I'm ready for fall, not quite winter yet. Winter means that the Christmas album is coming out, which I'm very excited about, but I still have a lot of work to do on that, so I'm savoring every little bit of fall that I can. And I'm also going to Mexico on October 31st, so I'm so excited that it's fall. It's coming up so quick. All right, Kevin Morgan, another top fan. You guys are so awesome. Cassie, girl, you crack me up. Thanks. My one question is, when are you going to come to Texas? I've been telling my friends about you for a while. DFW has some great music venues and your ability to cover old classics country, old classic country in your own style would so go over here. Just saying, hope you can branch out someday. I am actually coming to Burleson, Texas. I believe it's very near Dallas. I just put this on my website, CassieJoy.com. That is gonna be April 13th. It's for 
Harvest Feast. It's a charity organization, so go check that out. It's on my website, April 13th. I'm gonna be finally coming to Texas, near Dallas. I'll be in Burleson, April 13th. I'm so excited. All right, Jim Fiscus from Facebook wants to know, hi Cassie Joy, since you brought it up, did you meet anyone in the bathroom to pour out your heart and soul to? What was their name? Did they stay in your social circle? Have a happy Friday and a great blessed weekend. Thank you. Um, I've never really made a lasting relationship in the bathroom, I don't think. But I've certainly had a lot of great conversations in the bathroom. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. I have met some really special people at shows before though, or people that have given me notes. Um, I was singing karaoke right when Brian and I first started dating actually, so almost seven years ago. And I sang I Will Always Love You at karaoke because Brian made me. And I had never actually done that song before. And this lady came up to me with tears in her eyes and gave me this note and I'll never forget what it said on it and it was so special and she just basically told me to never give up and that it was a very impactful performance basically and I have kept that note in my wallet still and I always keep any special notes that I get from fans and and especially little joy friends I always keep that stuff in my guitar case I have so many pictures that are drawn from my little joy friends so I'm a very very nostalgic person <laughs> okay last question from Instagram, I think. Okay, silly question. Are you ticklish at all? If so, where? I used to be very ticklish, but unfortunately, my dad tickled me out of tickles, and I believe that is a real thing that happens. Um, he used to seriously, like, tickle me by, like, air tickles. Like, he would just get close, and I'd be like, Whoa! <laughs> and freak out. So, uh, I'm no longer ticklish. It's just, I'm, um, and so that's why I'm so serious all the time now. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this week's Joy Friend Friday. Thank you so much if you commented. And if I missed your question, comment below what you want me to answer for next week's Joy Friend Friday. And now I am off to play a show in Iowa in Osceola. I'll be at the Eagles at 6.30. And Saturday, I'll be in Albert Lee at Three Oaks Winery. And I've got tons of more shows on my website, CassieJoy.com. I've also got a new single coming out very, very soon. So make sure that you keep an eye on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube at Cassie Joy Music. Make sure that you have your notifications turned on so that you know when I post about the release of my single. I am so, so excited. We did the photo shoot today and I am just so excited about this song. My vision for it is really coming together and I just can't wait for you guys to hear it. So make sure that you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss out on the release of that song. So thank you guys so much. My name is Cassie Joy. I'll see you next week.